Hey everyone, if you're like me, you have a lot of important Apple Notes. And in many times, you really want to back those up, especially if you have attachments or annotations or drawings that you've made in Apple Notes. And of course, Apple hasn't made it easy to back things up outside of iCloud. So I'm going to show you a really simple way you can back up your files and actually restore them to their original state. Now, this is a manual process, it's not an automated process. But the goal is to really be able to back these up into your files or backup systems, things like Dropbox or Google Drive that lets you save those notes externally outside of the Apple environment. So the process is simple. You're just going to open notes on your iPhone or iPad, and you're going to manually select a set of notes that you're going to drag and drop into files. So start by picking a few test notes as test files and go to the upper right and choose select notes. Now let's just select these first five. Once you've selected the notes, hold your finger down or stylus down until they group together like this. Now here's the trick. While you're holding those grouped notes, use your thumb or another finger to slide up from the bottom and open up files. And you can see here, I already have files open and it's a folder located in my Dropbox account. Now keep holding these notes and drag them over to files. You can see here I have an empty file folder in Dropbox called Backup Apple Notes and just drop them in there. And you can see now what happens is individual notes are created as RTFD files in Dropbox. And through the process right now, you can see that Dropbox is actually backing those up. So the nice thing about RTFD files is that they contain all of your attachments and drawings that you might have in your notes, and they're fully compatible with iOS. But what if you want to recover an Apple Note? There's a bit of a hitch with this. You can recover each of these notes, but you can either do it one at a time or you can group them together into a single note. So let's do that. The process is just reversed. Let's just open Apple Notes and create a new note. So once you have that note open, go back to Files and select a single note. In this case, I'm going to pick one that has an attachment in it and some annotations and drag it back on top of the new note, just like you did when you were dragging it into Files. And you can see a new note was created with the attachment and with all of the annotations added. Now the caveat to that is you can't just drag all the files over and have them all create individual notes again. You have to drag each one over into a new note. But you can also combine these into a single note. So if you needed to actually combine a bunch of notes together, you could grab the group and drag them onto a single new note and it would combine them together. So some of the limitations of this are, first, you can't select all of your notes and drag them over as RTFD files. For whatever reason, it seems like you can only be limited to between 10 and 20 notes. Also, it seems like links are not preserved. Since Apple Notes edit links, I just assume they haven't added that feature yet. Also, tragically, RTFD files are not compatible on a Mac of all things, so you can't back up these files into something like a Dropbox, put them on your Mac, and then add them back into your Mac. The Mac can only import RTF files, but not RTFD files. But it does at least give you a way to get the bulk of your notes backed up in some easy manner. So that's it. I hope it helped you. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope to have more videos on tools and tips that just help your learning. Thanks.